All right, so we're going to play Art of Rally, which, to be fair, is a game that I would not play if it wasn't for the fact that it was on Game Pass. Why wouldn't I play it? Because the first impressions of this game, with like without having booted it up or anything, are god-awful. So first thing is this icon, this logo. It might just be me. It might just be a personal preference thing, but because of the font, it comes across to me like every asset flip that's ever existed that put like two seconds of effort into their logo and are like, yeah, that's good enough because they don't need to put effort in because they're gonna, no matter what, they're making money pretty much because they spent like a hundred bucks on assets. So who cares? I mean, I guess the screenshot, like trying to get that shot, I guess it looks like there's more effort put into it than a, uh, than an asset flip but it just doesn't look exciting. It, it doesn't look like anything special. It looks like there was just no effort put into it. I feel like at the very least, they should have had a logo of some sort and not just putting the text in like Arial or whatever the hell that font is. It's not Arial, but it's just like a very basic font. It just, it's so boring looking, but if that was the only thing, whatever. Wouldn't even be talking about it. Cause it's just like, ah, the logo is not great, but but that's not that big of a deal. The thing is the store page. So the first thing, the description, not bad. Race in a golden era of rally, drive a of cars from 60s group B and challenging stages through stylized environments inspired by real world. I can't say words. Real worldwide locations. Will you master the art of rally? Not a terrible description, just simple short description, but notice the word stylized. The reason I'm pointing out that word. If that was the only use of the word, again, wouldn't even be mentioning it. It's the full description. To do something dangerous with style is art. Art of Rally is a stylized experience inspired by the golden era of rally, blah, blah, blah. blah race across the world through colorful and stylized environments in top-down view. And then it just goes through, like, the actual features of the game, which that part's whatever. But the fact that in your first three sentences, you mention the fact that the game is stylized multiple times, you even include a quote that, which I don't even know if it's a real quote, they don't attribute it to anyone. So I, and I haven't looked it up. I don't know if someone actually said that, but the fact that you're basically just pushing the fact that it's stylized, I don't know what it is. There's some people that think a game is stylized, therefore it's good. But when I was looking up like definition of stylized game, stylized basically just means anything that's not realistic, which to be fair is a pretty broad term, but that means that pretty much any game that doesn't try to use realistic graphics can be included under stylized. Not every stylized game is going to be good and a game being stylized doesn't make it better or worse than a game with realistic graphics. It's just different. I even, when I found out about this game, I was looking up on my phone, like the newest Game Pass games and saw this one. And he basically was like, oh, that game looks so good. And the only reason he could give me for why it looked good was it's stylized and it's like, cool, but what's the gameplay like? <laughs> like, what? so what it's stylized? Who cares? And this, this just, uh, the quote and the fact that stylized is mentioned so many times in the description, it just comes across as like super pretentious. It, it comes across like it, it's saying like, this game is good because it's stylized, which it's not. It might be a good game. It being stylized has nothing to do with the fact that it's a good game. So, I'm gonna stop ripping on the store page for this game. Is that just the style? It just looks like a like a Lego car. I mean, is that just the style? Like that's. I mean, again, it's one of those words. Like it's fine if you if that's the style you're going for. Cool. It's stylized like that. I don't know why anyone would look at this and be like, oh my God, stylized. Oh my God, it's so good. There also haven't been any sounds yet. There was no sound on the main menu. Nope, go back. How do I, oh my God. It's a fucking scroll. 
I mean, at least it speeds up, but this is... I already hate this system for selecting a country. You can't type it to try to search. You can't... It doesn't give, like, a scroll list. You have to manually scroll through each one. Blood type. Who the fuck cares? I also don't... No, my blood... I just keep O positive. Who cares? Dark mode, absolutely on. Interface scale... Who cares? Large, I guess. Stability assist. And I'll just keep whatever. Privacy policy. I love how they don't even include the privacy po I mean, I guess people don't usually read the privacy policies anyway, but it's kind of interesting that they're like, hey, we, we need you to agree to a privacy policy. You gotta go somewhere else to see it. Oh my god. Do I only have... Oh. One, two, three, four. So I have four cars available. Why are the locked cars in the middle of the order? It seems... Odd. I also don't know what cars are good or bad, so, like, it just, there's the transmission and the horsepower, but that's about it. Also, the lack of music or anything is kind of, like, very noticeable. Like, usually I turn off the music anyway, if, if it's, like, copyrighted, but there's just nothing in the menus. And I don't know why it just seems unsettling. <laughs> Ooh, there's collectibles. All right. Uh, at least I think those are collectibles. It, they might not be. That might be to get the... Do you, do you get those during races? If it's collectibles, I'm kind of for that then. Oh, there's some music. Why was there none in the menus? I also really hope it's not copyrighted. I assume it's not going to be because there was no option to turn off music. There were no options really at all. I could set my blood type, but I couldn't change, like, sound levels. What the fuck? Hello, my child. Hi? Do I need to push something? Oh, I do. You're here to become a master of rally. I, there's also no sounds, like, no... It, it's just text. Rally was accidentally created by a Finnish race car driver who was late to the sauna and had to take a shortcut through the woods. It began with Humble Little Cars. Is that actually true? I, I kind of want to look that up then. Humble Little Cars modified into sports cars into Fable Monsters Group B. Group B was the golden age of Rally and was canceled because it was too dangerous, if you say so. However, we are in a parallel universe where Group B was never canceled. And its successor, Group S, lives on. To do a dangerous thing with style is art. So, wait, was that quote, did that quote have nothing to do with the fact that it was stylized and it had to do something with Rally? Like, what? I'm confused. I'm conf that that quote didn't have, that, I don't, okay. And becoming a master will require paints, paints of determination. Welcome to Free Roam. Practice and explore the world. When you're ready, go to the main menu and start rallying. Now go forth and remember, trees are not your friends. All right. Thank you, Buddha. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you told me. What, what did you tell me? I also, that was not up long enough for me to see it. This is, uh... I gotta get used to the handling. Hold on. Let's actually go on the track. Oh, the handling is, uh... Non-existent. How, how do I handle? Like, I feel like I have not successfully turned the way I want to turn at all yet. Oh, no. Did I get the hang of it? No, I sure didn't. This is with stability at max? Why? <laughs> they're trying to get out of the way and they're... they're <laughs> Their instinct was, hey, let's, uh, let's run into the road. Reach 100 kilometers per hour. Cool. This is, even with those, the stability and everything, this is impossible to control. Maybe I shouldn't have, can I change my car? Do I have to quit to change my car? Can I not just change my car? I wanted to change to a front wheel drive one. Because it might be easier. Career. Uh, follows history, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? All right. What's happening? 
just show me the cards, but like, I know nothing about the cards. Okay. I don't care. One rally, two stages. AI difficulty, short. Wait, there's AI in this rally though? In rally just time trials or is, I'm, I'm confused as to what's happening. Sure, default. Okay, good, I do get to change my car. Um, Let's go with this one because it's front wheel drive. Counter steer factor. The fuck? Multiply steering input by this factor when counter steer. Okay, I don't. I don't know what any of this means. Yeah, stability assist is on, so let's let's see if the car choice helps. Oh, it sure isn't. It sure isn't helping. In the slightest. Okay, okay. Stop. 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 Go. Go. Turn. Also, it said AI difficulty. There is no AI. So is the AI difficulty just like generate their times? Is is that all the difficulty is, quote unquote? I wouldn't really call that AI. If uh, there, <laughs> I don't know. You don't have any other race racers, so I wouldn't. Hey. Crash into a tree. Buddha was right. Trees are not my friends. But yeah, again, I, I wouldn't really call that AI at that point. You didn't put any AI in the game because the game... Oh, God. I can't. I can't. All right. Finished. Oh, that wasn't the end. I uh, call it too early. It's not that one either. It's not the next one based on the left bar. Ah, it's the one with the yellow around it. Yellow for finish. Complete a stage without damaging the car. Is that what? I flew into the river and crashed into a tree. What do you mean I didn't damage the car? Do I have, I had damage on default. Is default like off? I'm confused. Also, I love how it doesn't show a leaderboard. It just like, no, that's a full leaderboard. Stage results. Why do I have to open that up separate? Why didn't it, why doesn't it just show me that? <laughs> Need caffeine. So that dude got ninth because they don't, didn't drink the morning coffee. All right, probably should have restarted. Probably should have tried that one again to not be in sixth, but I, I'm not entirely sure I'd be able to do better. Righto, let's go. All right, that turn worked out great. That turn worked out perfect for me. I don't get the handling in this game. The handling just feels off. And half the time I screw up and then it's like, how do I fix this? And I just, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is with 100% stability control, and I just cannot, cannot control the car at all. I don't know in exactly what I'm doing wrong, or if I'm doing anything wrong, and I, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just get off the fence. Get off the fence. Oh my god, I'm stuck on a fence. Okay. Finally, it restarted me. I genu- like, I genuinely, like... You just slide so much, you're going like 20 miles per hour, you try to turn, and you still go fucking flying off the track. I don't get it. I'm guessing it's trying to be more simulation, which, if that's the case... Like, I have to slow down so much. I'm guessing it's trying to be more simulation, which, if that's the case... I'm never going to enjoy this game because I absolutely hate simulation kind of driving games. But the fact that it's not realistic and it's using a stylized art style makes it seem like it should be more arcadey, or at least have the ability to be more arcadey. I don't know. Also, the camera. The fact that it's using like a 
weird top-down kind of camera is an interesting choice, in my opinion. I don't know if I like it. Oh my god. Oh my god, just get away from the tree! Oh, and then I back... I back up, and that somehow spins me 180. What? I didn't do anything to spin 180. What What do you mean, game? What? Why was that the physics that it went with? I'm so confused. I... That was a solid deer. Or a... Something. I don't know. What are in Africa? Antelopes? Are those from a a a a Africa? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Animals. Fuck. Alright. Can't wait to be in 10th now because I flew off the track how many fucking times? That... I... I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hey, I'm in seventh. That's not last. But I, I genuinely don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just, I can't control the car at all. <laughs> like, am I supposed to, what did I do? Win your first season? I didn't win. I got seventh. But am I supposed to slow down to like 10 miles per hour? Cause that, is incredibly, incredibly boring if that's the case. Five star, five restarts remaining. Cool. Oh, these are just bonus liveries. Okay, that's not that bad. I thought I was getting like new cars for. Well, I mean, I did get. Didn't I get a new car? There's no reason for. I didn't win. Is this pull the Forza Horizon shit where it's like. Hey, you can get dead last, and we're still gonna give you, uh, give you progress, and it's like, why? Or, or is this entire thing one season? Like, like, uh, the leaderboards are, are, are stay the same, because that doesn't make any sense. Because they're completely different years, why would the leaderboards stick around? I'm, I'm so confused as to what's happening. Erase the progress. Yeah, I. No, you know what? Let's let's just move on. Oh, I did erase the progress. Me doing that erased the progress, but I still have 68 unlocked. Let's just do that. AI difficulty. Uh, slower drivers that make more. They don't make mistakes because it's just a time. What? What do you mean AI? There's no AI. Normal performance damage and terminal damage is in effect. Hides. Okay. So I do have damage, but somehow got through without being damaged? I'm not sure. I don't know what's happening. This one's rear wheel drive, so I won't, I, I, well, I was gonna say I won't be able to control it, but I couldn't control the front wheel drive one either. Uh, sure, let's try it. Let's go for it. You know what, first, first livery. That's, that's fancy enough. Okay, is this any easier to control? I mean, I haven't really got. Nope, nope, never mind. I was gonna say, it's so far so good, but then it just completely left the road for no reason. <laughs> like, I didn't. I wasn't doing anything different, and it just decided, nah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done sticking to the road. You can go fuck yourself. I don't know if this one's easier because there haven't been. Okay, there I went jumping. I understand why I kind of spun out when I landed. But is this one easier because it's asphalt, or did I actually choose a better car? Because this one feels a little better to control. Yeah, you need to slow down so fucking much there, because I was below 30. I hit like 29 was my fastest around that turn, and I still went completely off the track. You have to slow down so much. It's so, that's so boring. I know it's probably realistic, but realistic isn't, fun nine times out of ten like realistic graphics whatever make it look good but like actual realism in gameplay is not usually fun if, if i wanted realistic driving i'd go play like iRacing or project cars like an actual simulation racing game i art of rally would not be my choice for simulation driving although i got around that turn i mean i did slide and it didn't really like it wasn't really a clean turn, but I got around that turn without flying off the track. I don't know how... Okay, and then I just slow down a lot by going off the 
road, which actually that makes sense. And sure enough, going like 20 miles per hour, still fly off the road. <laughs> oh. oh my God. I hate everything. I, I, no, never mind. I was gonna say I would prefer to be playing Midnight Club 2 instead of this right now, but okay, that's, that's a little cruel. That's a little harsh. Let's not get carried away. All right, all right, cool. Although I do just go spinning and flying off in random directions, just like Midnight Club 2 half the time. And we, let's not call it yet. Oh no, there's another turn. Oh no, there's another turn. Why'd I go left? Why'd I go left? I don't, I didn't left that much. Why? Why is it going left? Is it the counter steering thing? Cause the counter steering multiplier, is that throwing me off? Which is funny because I couldn't actually set that coming into it. I have to specifically check the options to know that it's there. I just left it at whatever it was. Is that what? I, I doubt that's what's throwing me off, but I'm going to set that to 100% for the next one and see if it feels any better. I got sixth. I feel like I could, I, I screwed up sometimes, but I feel like I couldn't really done that much better. Also, that was supposed to be gravel, not asphalt. That does not look like gravel. Not even slightly. I'm also already incredibly bored of this game. I'm clearly not the target audience for this game because to me, they made a racing game, but took out the most fun part of the racing game, which is other racers. Like you're just racing against the clock and yeah, I know they have AI difficulty that just sets a time basically. It doesn't, there's not actual AI again, but uh, that's just not fun. Time trials are the most boring part of racing games in my opinion. The best part are other racers and racing against them and trying, you know, actually having people driving next to you. Like, like that's way more fun. Okay, turn down the counter steer. Let's see if that helps or hurts. I don't know. It'll probably hurt. I feel like it's not gonna help at all. Oh my God. So, so far it does actually feel better. It does actually feel better. Why? Good drivers have dead fl Spend five minutes slot. Okay, cool. Well, why am I getting achievements for nothing? I mean, I know games do that all the time of like giving you achievements for nothing, but it, it's one of the like weirdest things games do because it kind of defeats the purpose of the word achievement where it's like, hey, we're just gonna, I hate that it resets you like that. I mean, I guess it's a penalty, but I, that one, like some, it's weird because sometimes it makes sense to reset you there. It's like, I absolutely could have recovered. Give me the penalty. Let me recover myself. And then there's just the solid fence, but give me the penalty. Let me recover myself and be done with it. Like there was no reason to reset me there. These solid fences just, stopping everything. I don't, I, I can't tell. The counter steer, oh my God. I, again, it just resetting you plus five seconds. I, why couldn't I just drive? I, I know the real reason. It was probably easier to just be like, hey, if they get this far away from the track, reset them and add five seconds. But it just, it, it really feels not great to do that. Oh, good. Good. That tree made me do a 720. Fantastic. I can't tell, honestly. The counter steering, I feel like in some places it does feel a little better because there are some places where there are some places in some of the previous races where I would like go to correct it and do the counter steer to finish drifting. Oh my God, stop. And I would, it would sort of like automatically overcorrect. it felt like. Turning it down, I feel like that hasn't happened. The handling still sucks, but it's slightly better. I feel like. Oh my God, 
forgot I need to slow down to like seven miles per hour to get around a turn like that. Oh my god, just reset me now! <laughs> like there I actually wanted to be reset because I couldn't recover and it just took forever to reset. Is there a reset button that I missed when it flashed the controls for a little bit and I just completely missed it? Options, controls, recover car, okay. So I can recover car if I want to. I don't know if that gives me a five second penalty, but I, there is a recover car button. I'm assuming recover car means like reset. Hey, I actually made a sharp turn well. Fantastic. There I go sliding. There I go off the track. Because I didn't slow down below 20 miles per hour. Is this the end? No, it sure isn't. I keep thinking like, is this the end? And then I look over to the left and see the, uh, see the bar and realize it's not even close. It's not even close. Well, I mean, I guess it is close. It's like a quarter left, like three quarters of the way done. So it's not that far off, but it's, the only AI they actually have in this game is the, like, spectator AI, and the spectator AI is god-awful. <laughs> it's, I mean, it doesn't affect the game, so it's just hilarious, but it's not, like, frustrating or anything, but it's just, like, uh, so weird how instead of making them run... I, I don't even know what... Do you just make them run in the way that's easier to get out of the way of the car because they just run into the middle of the street nine times out of ten why was i reset there i didn't even think i was that far off the road why was i reset i could have recovered i could have recovered and it's better to let me recover than start me at a dead stop i feel like because at least then i'll have i'll get the five second penalty but i'll have some momentum dirty a vehicle to the fullest extent cool Glad, glad for that achievement, thanks. Thanks, I really feel like I accomplished something. I don't feel like I accomplished anything in the game. You, the only achievement that you gave me that feel that should feel like an accomplishment is the win a season one, which I got when I didn't win. I got seventh. There was no reason to give me that achievement. I got sixth, cool. I improved one place from last year. I'm gonna stop now because I'm already incredibly bored of this game. It's basically a racing game, but just time trials, which I hate. I, again, clearly not the target audience for this kind of game. I was, hold on. I was a minute and a fucking a minute and a half behind fifth. How, how? <laughs> but yeah, this, this is absolutely not my kind of game this is ab i'm absolutely not the target audience uh and maybe if i play this more i mean now i already got some achievements so i'm committed to like actually playing the game more maybe if i play it more i'll realize like you know what this game's not that bad but it's just kind of like it's just not anything special it's just sort of a simulation rally game but like other games already have rally stuff in it. Like Forza Horizon 1 had a rally DLC that was not bad. The Dirt games, the Dirt series has had rally like this, but mixed in with other races that are make it like give it variation and make it more entertaining. If the entire game's just this, it's we like I don't I don't know why it <sighs> What, are there any like what are the other game modes? Oh my god, I can't skip this. I know I got sixth. Shut up. Time attack isn't isn't what I'm doing a time attack. You added a time trial mode to a game that's nothing but time trials. Why? I mean, I guess that's just like try to get the best time and not try to beat other people, but like I'm already doing that. Custom rally, I guess this is just like yeah, that's just like a single race kind of thing. Online events and free roam. So it's it's again, it's just it's just it's nothing. It's boring. Play this game if you really like old school rally car racing. If you don't like old school rally car racing, don't play this game. That's pretty much my recommendation. Also for the creators of the game, just change that description. Uh, mentioning the fact that it's stylized like three times. 
Although apparently the quote had nothing to do with the fact that it's stylized, but I have a feeling it kind of had something to do with the fact that it's stylized. Just change it. It just comes across very like full of yourself. It's like the same thing as when indie developers make a game and the first words in the description are, this game is hard. It's like, okay, you know the entirety of the game. It's just gonna be difficult for no reason. This one's like, Oh, it's stylized. It's like, all right, you know that they put a lot of work into making a very specific style of graphics, but uh, maybe some work into the game. I don't, I don't know. It, the, the controls suck, but again, it's probably because they went for a more simulation style, and I hate simulation racing games. So yeah, this game's not for me. Maybe I'll play it more in my spare time, and uh, who knows? In like a month or two, I might be making a video saying that this video was completely wrong but i doubt it i don't think there's ever going to be a moment where i enjoyed this game so for now i'm going to end this video here so thanks for watching i'll see you next time